Hello there, my very good friends. On today's wrestling news, a WWE star has been mysteriously deleted. A huge Survivor Series match is rumoured. WWE wrestlers have been told to stop doing what? And a former WWE champion signs a new contract. I'm Adam Wilborn. And I'm Andy Murray. And this is the news. Okay. Odyssey Jones, where the hell's he gone? Yeah, what's going on? What's, what's going on, guys? I have no idea. So he's been deleted from WWE's roster page on the website. Mm. This got noticed online yesterday slash on the 1st of September. So over the past couple of days, people have been noticing this. He's not there. What's that? That's strange. Um, he's been allied with the New Day since August when he returned for the first time in like 16 months Kicked or whatever it was. AS as well. Had that tag match. Was it the 18th or the 19th? Something, Something like, like that. that yeah. They beat the Final Testament. Uh, so it looked of like... everyone does. Yeah, it's just not a hard shift, is it? Uh, it looked like they were going to be doing something, especially as they were teasing a little bit of tension between Xavier and Kofi in particular. He's not been around since then, Odyssey mm. Jones. And the other week, WWE did a backstage segment with Kofi and Xavier where they were kind of like, hey, well, yeah, there was some tension, but we kind of squashed it, which suggested to me that maybe they'd moved away mm. from that storyline. But what's going on? No one seems to know. Um, now, Xavier actually confusingly tweeted yesterday when everyone was talking about this, uh, ain't got nothing to do with me. So he, okay. he, Xavier Woods has not killed this man, is what, okay. I, can, <laughs> what I can ascertain from this. Out character for Xavier Woods, that. Yeah, it would be, yeah, if he just went, nah, I don't like you, see you later. Xavier Woods' new character, murderer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strange direction. Um, Sean Ross Sapp tweeted that he'd reached out to WWE but hadn't heard back um, regarding a change in Odyssey Jones's status and talent that he spoke to were surprised by the situation as well. Is this just a case of WWE abandoning a storyline? And because they've done that before, I hope not. Because I quite, I'm, I quite like this. I think you know when when, when Karen Cross first started being like, "I'm going to split up the New Day," I was like, "Good luck." They've been together like ten years. Yeah, you've been together five minutes. People have gone off and won titles. Kofi was world champion. Big E was world champion. Big E got moved to the other show and stuff. They always stay together. Their big thing is, please don't break us up. Like we can just not work together for a bit, but we're never going to split properly because we're yeah. best mates. Yeah. Um, but the Odyssey Jones interactions and the sort of bit where Xavier, kind of like the rest of us, is like, are you just trying to like replace Big E in all this? I thought it worked quite well as a sort of wedge that was being used to divide Kofi and Xavier. Like you say, they sort of said, oh yeah, we're mates, we'll, we'll clear this up. But there was always a little bit of a, just a look mm -hmm. or something would happen in a match and you're like, it's not completely gone this. And then like you say, Odyssey Jones hasn't appeared on Raw for a couple of weeks now. Then he disappears off the roster page. It's funny because if this had happened a month ago, it probably wouldn't have been that noteworthy yeah. because obviously, like you say, he'd been on the main roster for over a year, but was never actually utilized on yeah. telly. And people may just have thought, oh, that's a shame. I guess they've just decided to cut their losses with him and, and, and you know let his contract expire or, or let him go or whatever. But now I really hope that's not the case. One bit of speculation that I saw that I hope is the real reason why this is happening is so they can give him a new sort of thing where he's part of the New Day now on the roster page. And that's another part of Xavier being like, sorry, what's this now? Why is he yeah. in that gear? Or why is he now yeah. going together in a picture with the three of us, uh, with it now making the three of us? Big E, you know, it's not going to be replaced in the New Day. Oh, but the spooky lights are. They keep changing colours as well. What's going on? It's purple one second, it's green the next. But yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's strange. It's a bit like if they just went, yeah, get rid of Bronson Reed now. Like yeah. they do this amazing push for someone and then they just go, oh, I changed my mind about it now. Bronson Reed, of course, slightly different the reason why he wasn't on telly last night. He's got COVID. Get well soon. And these flashing lights are going to give somebody oh, some problems. Sorry. Um, Hang on, let me see if I can fix it. If you kick the plug, that, that'll do the job. That always works. I'm not actually a qualified electrician. I'm not sure if uh, I've well, told you that. Better call Sparky Plug. <laughs> oh, he's a race car driver. He wasn't was, he? wasn't he? Yeah, we've had some interesting uh, electricians come through. Remember the one who wanted to get the fridge? Yeah. We have a Coca Cola fridge here. Guy came in one day and just went, Can I have that? Yeah. After I've smashed up your toilet. Yeah. I think, um, I think but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, hope, I hope it's just some clerical administrative bollocks. I hope it's not Odyssey Jones gone, obviously. Yeah, who the heck knows what's going on here. Uh, but it's weird that not only has he been deleted from the, ros the roster, but he's also not on TV. It's yeah. it's, it's weird. Uh, so yeah, I hope that, hope that uh, whatever happened, everyone's good. Yes. Everyone's fine. So. There you go. Right, let's talk Survivor Series. Obviously, on last night's Raw, CM Punk was like, right, Drew McIntyre's out of the way. Let's get on my face in uh, Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Drew went, are you sure about that? Kicked his ass, broke his bracelet, busted him up, sent him to the hospital, all that good the stuff. The most personal thing you can do to insult a man is to break his bracelet. 
Everyone knows that. Hey, hey, bloody good bracelets they are. These are nice. Um, but <laughs> no, um, that seems to be setting up another match, obviously, at Bad Blood. Hell in a Cell is what we've talked about for months now uh, for those two. So it looks like Gunther may well be facing Sami Zayn, who went out and challenged him, to which Gunther said, yep. Yeah, yeah. But come on. <laughs> Sami obviously beat Gunther at WrestleMania. They've got history. They put on an absolute ripper of a match. So I really hope that goes through. However... Do not give up hope on Gunther versus CM Punk because according to PW Insider, uh, people within WWE uh, talks backstage seemingly setting up Gunther versus CM Punk for Survivor Series, which would be awesome. Obviously, one mm -hmm. of the big four pay-per-views. Um, if the rumors are true about CM Punk versus Seth Rollins for WrestleMania, maybe that's the moment Punk wins the world title. Who knows? Yeah. It'd be a rather short reign for Gunther. Um, let us know your thoughts on it in the comment section below, of course. But if you had that and the Bloodline versus Bloodline 2, but oh, I don't think you need anything else on that card. It looks awesome. Two match show. Yeah. Sure, tri Triple H getting the show started. Two matches from five. Uh, we'll be at one soon enough. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like it. I think it would be a great match. I think uh, Gunfer is obviously brilliant. And uh, look, you cannot say a single thing about CM Punk without some knob turning into a culture war for yeah. him. I think he is still a great wrestler. And I think him versus Gunfer will be absolutely wonderful. I like that roadmap. I like doing Drew versus Punk in the cell. Uh, I like doing Gunfer versus Stem Cell Sammy. Yeah. Uh, Sammy 2.0. Uh, I, I, I think that those are... Good matches uh, to book in the interim, and if you want to get to, to Survivor Series and do that, I mean, it's a hell of a it's a hell of a match. Gunfer versus Punk, and the promos would be mm, oh my word, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, Punk, Punk uh, avenging. Well, he's already beaten uh, Drew, but like properly finishing off the feud by winning it and beating someone like Drew McIntyre would put him in a position yeah. quite rightly where he could say, "I want a World Heavyweight Championship match next." And I really like in the interim that no one expects uh, Bron Breaker or Gunther to lose their titles. So you might as well use Jay and Sammy in those roles for great matches mm -hmm. because one would assume they're then going to finally reunite, do the tag team stuff, and then maybe they even win the tag, tag titles off the... Uh, uh, oh, no. Well, yes, I keep forgetting there's two different sets of tag titles. Yeah, they win the tag titles off... The Unholy um, Union. The Judgment Day. Somehow. Um, and then you've got, oh, one set of tag titles are there on SmackDown with, of course, the new Bloodline, with the Gorillas of Destiny or whoever's defending it, of course. Um, and then you've obviously got Sammy and Jay, and you sense all that's going to come together. Jimmy but may well get involved as well. Uh, I'm really excited for this fall of WWE. Is that what the Americans call it? Fall. Fall. Autumn. Or whatever hey, it is. So much for the summer, right? Misfit season yeah. uh, is what I call it. I, I, Punk needs a new bracelet. That one got trashed last night. You should get a new one with Ace Steel written on it. What do you think of that one? Yeah. Think of that one. Little bite mark on his arm. Little tooth on it. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> did, I did, he used the loaded bracelet. Bang. <laughs> I did. I, like, he did a couple of post-show interviews, didn't he? Like social media exclusives. One, he shouted out the Booker T Hulk Hogan promo. <laughs> which not, a lot of people missed. Um, it's but a bold he, strategy, Cotton. Yeah, it is. For, he obviously, you know, cleaned it up. Um, and he also did one saying, you mess with my dog, I'll kick your ass. The, referencing all out a little bit. So, yeah, it's fun stuff from the punker. Well, He's, Ludwig uh, Kaiser versus Larry could go, couldn't it? Oh, my, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Larry selling. Ladies and gentlemen, I demand all your... Oh, Jesus, he got me late! <laughs> yeah. Ah, poor Larry. Oh, poor Larry, remember that time immediately after All Out? <laughs> I know where you're going with it. Where, uh, like, the most, the, most, the most transformative event in AEW history, the mm -hmm. backstage mm -hmm. fight. Dave Meltzer signs on to Wrestling Observer Radio and begins with commentary of Larry running to the ring during the pre-show. What a worker. What a worker. <laughs> Good old... Uh, how can you not find Dave funny? It, the, yes, this business would be far worse off without him. He's, he's such a unique guy. I, I really appreciate his strange peculiarities. We've all got them. Just, uh, just pressing the star button on your keyboard. Who knew that yeah. could cause so much? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> he gave this one 25 stars. <laughs> uh, right, let's... He fell asleep on his keyboard. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. Probably the hours he works is probably not far off. Probably gave Mike Bailey five stars accidentally. Mike Bailey deserves five stars, <laughs> yeah. by the way. Uh, yeah, it was like... It was sorry, Mike I was like, yes, get in. Like, Actually, uh... uh, it was meant, it's supposed to be four. <laughs> poor, poor guy. Yeah. Poor guy. Right, what if WWE stars been told to stop doing. Um, Ooh. Hmm. I am not going to speculate on this one. Uh, you swear. Yes. <laughs> Effin right. and Jeffin. Yeah, Effin and Jeffin. This is according to PW Insider. There was a meeting, a mandatory talent meeting, 
before Raw yesterday. Uh, and uh, talent were told to be mindful of cursing during matches when they're or whenever they're on camera. There's no specifics. Um, it was just an overall reminder because this is a PG company, and uh, I, I guess when they go to Netflix, that isn't going to change too much. Um, thinking about this, I was just like, well, did, has anything happened recently where a bunch of dudes and, and were like swearing at each other and whatever? I immediately went to the mixed tag from the pay-per-view. It was it was quite heavy language, heavily language. Languaged at times. It, it but. deserved it though. That's, you should, you know, like when the, the yeah. blood. Sometimes you're like, I'll allow it. They yeah, allow yeah. it. A little bit every. Like presumably this doesn't apply to the Rock, who just like. What does? I mean, the Rock saying, Ah, Chanter, shut the fuck up now. That's the wrestling moment of the year. Yeah. So there you go. Just being in attendance for that was genuinely one of my highlights. Whole row of like, Ah, <laughs> so said good. F U C K. So F -U -C -K. so C K CEO. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I can understand why they're doing this. It's disappointing, obviously, as, as fans. But it's one of those where, hopefully, it's not a complete ban. So mm. when it does happen, it makes it more special. So It's a kid's TV show at the end of the day. Yeah. So can't really argue with it. Yeah, can't so long really as they're not going you know, too far the other way. Yeah. And just <laughs> suffering sucker dash comes back. As long yeah. as that stays away. You little nincompoop come I will, here. I will <laughs> say I'm slightly disappointed, mainly because uh, there's some amazing sort of off mic swears from history yeah. that I really enjoy. There's the Shawn Michaels, <laughs> who's the man thing. And I will give a mention to some of that Cedric drew my eyes to recently. Where, it, where Sid, rest in peace, comes out in ECW, is it? And yeah. he goes, there's no man f***ing big enough! <laughs> Sorry, he had one, I have one, right? That's it, we'll, we'll stop have there. Have you ever seen the, the Mean Gene one where he, he's cutting the promo and the, the sign the falls and he goes, f*** it. It's great. <laughs> right, he's had two, so I get, there's no man f***ing tough enough! You can both say f twice. <laughs> That's three. <laughs> I, got, I got one in the back pocket. Will I use it today? Will I use it throughout the week? Just stay tuned. Hey, sorry, Ryan. We'll give we'll give the other editors more work next time. <laughs> right. So they, they have to do the edits. The swears. Let's talk about Asuka, who has just signed a new contract. Who the hell is Asuka? <laughs> According to Peter Insider, uh, yesterday Asuka has signed a new long-term WWE contract, although the terms of deal have not been disclosed. Uh, the 42-year-old is currently out with a knee injury. She hasn't wrestled since dropping the tag titles at Backlash, of course. Um, she underwent surgery, um, taking a break to deal with this knee issue, of course. Uh, I miss her. Damage controller, awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, it feels like an element's missing with no Dakota Kai, no Asuka, of course. Um, but yeah, a real, a real, just reliable star Asuka. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I agree with a lot of people that th they say that she can be occasionally underutilized. But yeah, obviously talent at the W want to keep around. And uh, fingers crossed this is a sign of investment in her future. Yeah, I think somebody, I'm not sure if it was a new tweet or it was just an old one that was seeing the rounds. But somebody, when the story broke, highlighted a tweet she'd made where she was like, uh, it was, you know, it was quite a wordy tweet in, in that she used a few metaphors and stuff, but like it was about finding peace basically and like being really happy in mm. WWE and stuff like that. So all of this makes perfect sense because she didn't always make the biggest number of friends in Japan on the scene over there and stuff. So she's come over to the States and while you can talk about booking and whatever else, she just loves it. She yeah. loves it. Yeah. So loves the lifestyle, clearly, loves being there. Uh, it's good, positive. People need just work where you're happy. Yeah. It's good. Do you think sometimes when wrestlers like Asuka get injured, they're like, oh no, a knee injury, so I have to do what? Rest up and sit down, okay. Can I still game? Well, uh, it turns out it's not that bad, actually. Yeah. She's a big gamer, isn't she? So. Yeah, she is one of the chugs. Yeah, well, I can, if she's... Uh, is that what they're called? I don't know. Is that, or is that just an Adam Cole thing? Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but if she's, uh, sure. if she's stuck for something to play, can I highly recommend a game that I'm working on at the moment? Spider-Man. Uh, the PS4. What was that piece of trash that we played the other day for the gaming channel coming soon? Oh, there's an amazing Resident... video coming soon with me and Andy on it. Yeah, Res Resident Evil 5? Was so, it? Uh, 8 or something, I don't know. The, the one where the chainsaw in your hand. Mm. It's awful. I'll tell you what was legitimately awful that walking simulator one that we played. Oh, yeah. And it's just so like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, let's walk around. I was like, I thought it was meant to be scary. Yeah, a robot says a few things. Yeah. 
But we, yeah, we did a game basically where uh, Cy and Scott terrified us with jump scares yeah. in computer games. Uh, computer games, you can tell why I'm not on the gaming channel. But honestly, keep an eye out for that because it was so much fun to make. They are just horrible, horrible people. You should not trust them yeah. if you see them. <laughs> Watch out for Cy and Scott. Yeah. But they will make you play scary games. <laughs> I really, I really <laughs> do. We're going to do it again as well. I hope so. Hopefully. But anyway, let us know your thoughts on all the new stories we've discussed in the comment section below. What's your favourite of Mike Swear? Let us know. And for the, uh, for the time being, check out this video right here, baby.